this is going to be different. This is going to be a very different video than what you guys are typically used to seeing on my channel. So please, 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 please let me know if you want me to continue doing this. So basically what I'm going to be doing today is um, reviewing a bunch of different fragrances from one specific house. Today, the house that I'm going to be um, kind of reviewing is Nazimato. Now, Nazimato, I feel, is a very... It's a very unique house and that's why I'm so excited to be doing this video today because hopefully some of you guys haven't heard of them before and I can I can enlighten you and show you because I am very, very, very amazed with this house and the offerings that it has. So just a quick little thing about Nazimato is that they were established in 2007 by a man named Alessandro. Cannot pronounce his last name, but his first name is Alessandro. He wanted to be creative. He wanted to actually push the boundaries and actually do something really out of this world and crazy. And that is literally what all of the fragrances from Nazimato are to me. They are out of this world. They are very creative, very unique. Some are not going to be for everyone. They're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I love that because in the fragrance industry, it's hard to stand out. And I feel like these fragrances definitely stand out. So I also want to say I am so, so, so excited to tell you guys something. I want to say a massive thank you to the beautiful Laura and all of the girls at Law Perfumery. All of these fragrances are from Law Perfumery and Laura has set you guys up a discount code. Really, really, really grateful that they have set up a discount code for you guys. So you can get 10% off. Like a huge, that's, that's huge. Like I'm not even sure that anybody's been given a discount code with Nazimato. I feel like I'm the first person and I feel really special right now. So they're going to give you guys 10% off the fragrances that I'm mentioning in this video today. The code is Demi times Law. I'll have it all I'll have all of the information linked down below for you guys so it's a bit easier. Law Perfumery is absolutely amazing. Like I'm not I'm not just exaggerating. They are an amazing perfumery in Melbourne in Australia. They also have a gorgeous website online. Obviously I'll have that link below. I also want to say I love the way that that website is like put together. It's stunning. But the girls at Law Perfumery are extremely extremely passionate about what they do. They are like me and they are like you guys. They're very very passionate. They take their job really seriously and they also sell a huge amount of niche fragrances which you guys know I love niche fragrances I'm a bit more of a niche girl than a designer girl I'm pretty sure that they sell around 50 different niche brands as well so do not forget I have a very 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 rare like 10% off code for these fragrances that I'm going to be talking about today you guys have to know that literally every single opinion that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is 100% honest. I am not being paid by Nazimato. Nobody's paying me. I can actually say exactly what I feel. I'm absolutely free to say whatever I want. So I'm going to I'm going to let you guys in. I'm going to tell you guys what is worth your money in here, what is not, what I think are the best, what I think are maybe fall a little bit flat. I'm going to I'm going to let you guys in. So I'm going to start out with a fragrance that I am totally in love with. You're going to hear me say that a lot in this video, but I am absolutely this is probably my favorite if I'm going to be honest it's probably my favorite from Nazimato and this fragrance is called Narcotic V it used to be called Narcotic Venus but now it is Narcotic V this fragrance is stunning it really is one of the most stunning white florals that I've ever smelled in my life Narcotic V represents the power of femininity and the like sexual power of a woman that's what this fragrance apparently represents and it totally does you guys like to me this is tuberose and gardenia all the way if you guys like tuberose this is one of the most purest the most raw, very sensual fragrance to me. It is tuberose and gardenia all the way. It has some spice in there, also has jasmine, but to be honest, you have to love your tuberose to love this fragrance. Now to me, this is a wedding. I'm actually planning to film what I would recommend to a bride. Spoiler, this is like in the top three. This is one of the most beautiful fragrances, beautiful white florals that I've ever smelled. And all of Nazimato fragrances are extra de parfum. So they are literally the most pure, the most pure, like intense fragrance that you can get. Narcotic V is definitely, definitely up there as my favorite from Nazimato. And I 100% recommend it to you girls out there that love tuberose and gardenia, but mainly tuberose. You've really got to enjoy tuberose to love this one. Tuberose is definitely one of my favorite notes and I just absolutely love that. 
I'm going to switch over to something for the men. Now, I... Okay, let me just introduce this fragrance to you guys. This is called Duro. Now, I have to say that... Oh my god, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Um, I'm not exaggerating. I don't exaggerate. I just talk about what I love. Now, I have to be honest, I am shocked. I am absolutely floored why I don't hear more about this fragrance. In my opinion, this is the best, one of the best men's fragrances from the niche world that I've ever smelled. This is truly truly an incredible fragrance. This is masculinity in a bottle. This is the power of masculinity and honey. <laughs> yes, it is. This is truly an incredible fragrance. How does it smell to me? This is a beautiful, smooth, woody, really, really, really woody fragrance. It's quite like a dry, woody scent, but it's got kind of like a sweetness to it. It's almost like the woods have been like caramelized. I know that sounds so bizarre, but to me that's kind of what it smells like because it's definitely like a little a little kind of sweetness in there to just kind of pull it all together and it is really a like I said guys, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. I'm shocked more people don't talk about this. The best Nazamato for men in my personal opinion. There's also leather in here, but the leather note isn't I don't know, sometimes leather can bother me. Personally, I do struggle to enjoy leather in my fragrances. This leather is like a buttery, smooth, really well blended. Like all of the fragrances, I'm going to say that. If there's something that Nazamato fragrances are, it is well blended. They are definitely very like well blended scents. They're very whole. They're very amazing. So Duro from Nazamato. I keep smelling it because I'm very, very, very surprised that this doesn't have more love around it and more hype because holy mother of God, this is incredible. This is something that I would buy for a guy, hands down. So Duro from Nazamato, do not, don't sleep on this. That is 10 out of 10. So, okay, um, moving on. Moving on to my next fragrance. Now this one I hear about quite a lot and I'm now, like I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that I hear about this fragrance a lot because it truly is incredible. This is Butter Onda. Now this is, I'm not joking when I say this again, this is the best, the best boozy fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. This is so realistic that it makes your mouth water. When I first smelt this, literally guys, I'm not joking, my mouth almost started to water because it truly does smell like real whiskey. It's like whiskey and woods and it's a little bit sweet and it's got, oh, I'm really, really blown away by Bada Onda. I think that, like I said, the best, if you want boozy, if you like boozy, the best of the best. This one is unisex. If you're a woman and you you like more challenging fragrances, more, you know, unisex fragrances, give it a go. I swear to God, I am so excited to wear Butter Onda. This is right up my alley because I personally, I love boozy fragrances. And this, like I said, is the best boozy fragrance that I've smelled. It's absolutely delicious. Like that's how I would describe it. It literally makes your mouth kind of water because of how good that it smells. Like the dry down, the dry down of this fragrance, I was surprised when I looked up the notes. I thought there was gonna be some dried fruits in there because the dry down, I really got these like, this like kind of bitter, like a bite of like dried fruits. I don't know how to explain it, but it was very, it was a very um, uh, amazing experience to wear this fragrance. So Butter Onda, definitely one of the best from the house. Yeah, this is iconic. This fragrance I have heard so much about, whether you love it or you hate it, it's absolutely iconic. This is Black Afghano from Nazmato. Now, Black Afghano, if you guys know anything about the fragrance community, you know that this is supposed to smell like weed. It really does smell like weed and money. Now, it doesn't smell like weed at a music festival. This, to me, smells quite smoky. There is a sweetness. There is a real sweetness in here. Not sweet fragrance like a gourmand or anything like that, but there is a sweetness in here that makes you want to go back to it. You keep on sniffing your arm or wherever you've sprayed it, you keep on going back to it. And I feel like they've done really well with this fragrance and kind of made it a wearable way to wear 
cannabis. I know that sounds really weird, but there is obviously that cannabis note in there. But to me, it kind of more smells like a bit herbal. It doesn't really, like I said, it doesn't really smell like gross. It smells more like herbal. There is oud in here. And again, the oud is more to me like... Um, like a hay like it almost comes across as a bit like a hay smell but not gross not stinky not dirty it's not to me it doesn't smell like that at all I find black afghano very very sexy and I see this working so well on both a man or a woman especially a man in a suit oh my lord if I smell a guy wearing this in a suit wow like I would be it would turn my head for sure so like I said there is that herbalness there's the oud there's the smokiness there's a sweetness from the resins that are in here and to me it's it's one of the best constructed fragrances utilizing the note of cannabis like it really does smell incredible and very very intoxicating as well so I think that this would smell so sexy on both a man or a woman so black afghano um it really does smell good and I think that that's Something that a lot of people wouldn't expect because like I said, it does have cannabis in it. You wouldn't think that it would smell good, but it really does. The next fragrance that I'm going to talk about, in my opinion, is definitely one of the more underrated fragrances from this house. I don't hear hardly anybody talk about this and I'm, I think that it's a beautiful fragrance like I'm I'm gonna be totally honest I actually really do love this one I can definitely see myself wearing this one quite a lot so this is blamage first of all um, let's just state the obvious that this bottle let's do beauty guru status is absolutely phenomenal and all of the bottles obviously all of the bottles are absolutely gorgeous but this one especially is amazing now to me this fragrance is very, very deceiving. You look at the bottle and you expect something kind of woody and maybe a bit smoky. No, 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 no. I would say that Blamage leans maybe the smallest bit more feminine. And oh Lord, is this beautiful. Like I said, it's very deceiving. You look at the notes, there's wood, there's birch. You're going to expect some sort of woody fragrance. For me, what this smells like is... This is going to sound really weird and I hope it doesn't sound wrong, but this is like, this kind of smells like washing powder. Like there is a sharpness to this. There is a soapiness. There is a sweetness. There's definitely a little sweetness in there. I genuinely thought that this fragrance would have a violet in it because to me, I smell, yeah, like this violet note or something like that. But it is stunning. You guys, you need to try this one. If there's anything that you need to try and you're a woman... If you're a woman and you're watching this video, please, these would be like my two recommendations that I feel like if you like the same fragrances as me, you will love both of these. But Blamage, going back to it, there's also a muskiness. When you first spray it on your skin, you got to leave it. You got to leave it to kind of blend with your skin. And my Lord, does it smell incredible. There's almost as well like a bit of a metallicness, but not a gross metallic vibe. Like I don't get along with metallic notes in fragrances. I don't like them at all. But this has, like I said... It almost smells like this clean washing up powder. I know that sounds kind of weird, but give it a go. And then there's a sweetness there and the muskiness. There is a beautiful clean muskiness. Once it's kind of blended with your skin, you definitely get this kind of clean musk note. So I see this on like a really rich woman that wears like cashmere, a beige cashmere sweater. And she just pulls this out of her bag like amazing. I just, I just see that. I envision that when I think of this fragrance. Because like I said... Yeah, really, really gorgeous scent. So Blamage, definitely one of my favorites. Like I really love that one and I feel like it's quite underrated. So, okay. The last fragrance. The last fragrance that I'm going to talk about today, I, I'm i going to be really 100% real with you guys. Like I said, nobody's paying me. Nobody's paying me to say good things about these fragrances. I'm giving you guys my honest, um, authentic thoughts. This fragrance I am struggling to get along with and it is called Nudiflorum. It is truly one of the most unique fragrances I have smelled in my life. I have not smelled anything like this. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not in love with it. I'm struggling with this one. I'm struggling to understand it. I don't, yeah. And you don't have to understand fragrances to like them. I'm just saying that this one is an oddball. To me, it's a very odd fragrance and it's not bad. I can see some people absolutely loving this, so definitely give it a go. But for me personally, I am kind of 
not in love with it. It's weird, but it's weird in a good way, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it. But like I said, I'm not in love with this one. But I've told you guys a lot. Sometimes I have to spend time with a fragrance and then I fall in love with it. So we'll see. But like I said, this one's kind of like a jasmine scent. There is some, there's like a sweetness in here. There is like a, uh, a spice. There's a lot going on in here. Like I can't, I can't really pinpoint exactly what's going on. But this fragrance is supposed to be, it's supposed to represent like intimacy and our naked bodies and like all of that sort of stuff. So definitely give it a go. Don't, don't let my opinions affect you. Definitely give this one a try. So Nudiflorum from Nasmato, very unique fragrance. If there's anything that I have to say, it's that it's very unique. So maybe I will quickly like run through them and tell you guys like from uh, one to six, which ones I think are the best. So definitely these are my two front runners, Narcotic V for women and Duro for men. Guys, guys, if you're, if you're a man and you're watching this, get on this, like get on this right now. Like you need this scent in your life because it is absolutely exquisite. So those are my two front runners. Then I would probably say, Butter Onda, I think that this is so, it's delicious. Like this is a delicious boozy scent like no other. This is truly like no other boozy, boozy, <laughs> boozy fragrance that I've ever smelled. Then I would say, oh, this is hard. Either one of these, maybe I'll go with Blamage because I can see myself wearing Blamage a lot more than Black Afghano. Blamage, like I said, clean. You can wear this one in all year round. I could see this being worn all year. It's got that clean, kind of soapy, musky, sweet. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. And like I said, this one's more underrated. Black Afghana, I can see myself wearing this on a night out with a black dress with like a pantsuit. I could just see myself rocking this one because I really love unique, weird, creative scents. And that's exactly what this one is. But it smells good. Do not let the name and the mark and the notes affect you this does really smell good so black afghano one or two sprays as well like with these fragrances they're very strong they're extra de parfum so you don't need a lot of them you do not need a lot and saying that this is one of the most strongest fragrances i've i've tested in my life i had a paper strip that i sprayed it on put it in my room my entire room smelled like this fragrance <laughs> and I also sprayed it on my skin and it lasted about 12 plus hours so all of them last very long but I would say this one was like a beast like this was absolutely beast mode but like I said I've got to spend some more time with her because I'm not fully I'm not totally sold on her yet just yet we'll see We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know if you want me to continue this because I can review fragrances from all different houses in the fragrance industry. I will do that for you guys. Tell you what I think is worth it, what I think is not worth it. So let me know if you want this to keep going because I actually really enjoyed this video. Nazamato is a house that is so so worth checking out. I'm not just saying that but they are so worth exploring. Especially if you like fragrances that are different. You don't want to stay, you know, with the designers and all that sort of stuff. You want something different, try Nazimato fragrances. And do not forget that I have a 10% off discount code. Like I said, this is really rare. Like I've never known anybody to have a code with Nazimato. So the code, I'll have all the details linked down below for you guys. Um, you can only get 10% off on the fragrances that I have mentioned today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please follow me on Instagram. It is at Demi.Rawling and I will talk to you guys soon. Also a massive thank you to Laura again for setting this code up for me. I'm really... I'm really grateful. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.